Hi everybody, my name is Hori Perutsu and I'm a developer advocate at Miro. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to deploy a Next.js app to Microsoft Azure. No more intros, let's get right into it. So it's gonna be a very simple app. It's just gonna have one page. It's gonna have one button, which is sign in, and it's gonna redirect you to the OAuth page for Miro. And then it's gonna have a redirect URL. And then if you sign in successfully, it's just gonna say logged in successfully. So very simple, but we're gonna show you how to use environmental variables. Let me test it out to show you what the finished product is gonna be like. So here is my simple sign in. I'm just gonna click the button, sign in, and then it's gonna take me to the Miro redirect page. Here, I'm gonna select a team. And then what's really important is that it shows you where you will go to complete the installation. So this is the redirect URL that's very important. And we're gonna need to set this in our Miro app settings and we can click add and it will go to the redirect URL. And if it does so, it'll say logged in successfully. So that's the basic premise of the app. And I'll show you now how to deploy this on Microsoft Azure. And specifically, we'll be using the static web app service and we'll add in some environmental variables and you'll know how to do that for the Next.js runtime, and it can be applied for any of the other runtimes that uh, the Microsoft Azure static web apps support. So let's go ahead and get started. So first of all, we're gonna go into our Azure account. This is all on the free account, uh, but you need to make sure you have an account to begin with. And so that's what we'll do is we'll go back into our Azure account. We'll go to static web apps. And what do we actually need is we need to have a repo where our code is based. Here is my repo that I'm gonna use and it's a blank repo. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually put in some code uh, from this repo. So I'm going to just do a git init, uh, git add, git commit. And then I just need to add the remote so I already set this, you can see I already have remote origin, so I'm just going to set it and then now I'll push it. Okay, so now we have our code into this public repo. And of course you can go ahead and clone the repo and just use this repo to deploy. Um, so now that we have the repo ready to go, and I do think it looks good, we can go into uh, Azure Static Web Apps. We can create a new web app. And here we're gonna create a new resource group and it'll be YouTube demo Next.js. And then this will just be Azure deploy Next.js. We'll keep it on free. This is really important too. You wanna to pick uh, where your app is gonna be deployed. And I've ran into some issues before with Azure where it only lets you deploy, I believe it's like one uh, web app per region, I'm not 100% sure on these details, but you might get some errors. So if you see that, just change the region or change the resource group and it should be good. So now it's asking me for my deployment details. So here is my GitHub account. Um, you can, of course, you can change that, but I'm gonna stick to my account. And of course, you'll need to authenticate into your GitHub account. I've already done that, uh, but you'll need to go through that as well. Now we're just gonna choose the repository and it's gonna be deploy Next.js Azure, so deploy Next.js Azure, uh, main branch, which is fine. And the build presets, this is the most important part of the video is the build presets. I had some issues with this in the past. I just let it be on default and it didn't work properly. So we're gonna choose Next.js here, of course, and we're gonna leave the defaults where our app location is at root, that's fine. And if you had serverless functions or things like that, you would add that here, but I don't. So I'm just gonna do preview. That looks fine to me. Now I'm gonna click on review and create. This looks good to me. And within a couple seconds, I should be able to deploy. So I'll click create now. And while this is deploying, we're gonna to need to do something on the Miro side. So for a Miro app to work, we're gonna to need to tell it what our URL is. So this is um, what Microsoft Azure provides is it provides this public URL. So anybody on the internet can access your app. So let's go to our resource and here it is. And here is our URL. So we can copy this URL and we'll go into developers.miro.com and we will create a new app. 
and we can use this section, create apps using examples, and we will use the Next.js OAuth. And what we can do here is register app using example settings. So that'll just give us uh, kind of the boilerplate template code we need. And we're just gonna hit create app. And this is where I'm gonna go ahead and edit in the manifest. This is the um, app URL. And then here is the redirect URL. So I'm gonna click save. So that looks good. And that should be it for the Miro side. And now we can show you the deployed app. Hopefully it's ready. So let's go ahead and check. Okay, so it's taking a little bit of time. That's fine. So while this is taking some time, I'll show you how to use environmental variables in Azure. I'll show you the code that we're deploying. So it has a couple pages. So it goes pages, API, and redirect. And that is the logic that we need to understand. And you can see it's using some environmental variables here. It's using client ID, and it's using client secret, and then redirect URL. So we're gonna need to set those environmental variables in our Azure app. So let's go ahead and do that now. And we will get that, uh, the client ID and client secret from our Miro app. So let's go ahead and see this app. You can see it's created today, October 29th. Here's my app URL and the redirect, that all looks good. And I'll start with the client ID. So in our Azure app, we went into configuration and I'll click add. And here is the client ID, and it has to be spelled perfectly in terms of the casing. So uh, uppercase and lowercase does matter. We're gonna click OK. We're gonna add in a new one, which will be the client secret. And here is my client secret. And I'm going to delete this application after the video, so that's fine and all good. But uh, uh, you don't want to show anybody that client secret. And lastly is the redirect URL. So here it is. We're going to add that into our Azure redirect URL. Okay. Now we're gonna click save and that's gonna take some time to redeploy the application with this new configuration. And if all worked well in a few seconds, I should be able to refresh this page. And here's the sign in button. And again, the redirect URL should be blackrock slash API slash redirect. So we click sign in. And here we can see that it will work because we can see that it's gonna take us to the right URL. So this all looks good. I'm going to add this into the Horia dev team. I'm gonna click add and we should say successfully logged in. Nice. So that's it for this video. You learned how to deploy a static web app, a Next.js app on Microsoft Azure. And we showed you how to do that with environmental variables. Specifically for a Miro app, we're gonna need to go into our app settings and tell uh, Miro where our app is deployed. So we're gonna use that deployed URL and also the redirect URL for the OAuth. And in terms of the environmental variables on Azure's side, we go to configuration and then add those in, click save, and that will redeploy the app with this new environment. So I hope this was helpful. Please let me know in the comments below if it helped you. Please like and subscribe because that will make my life a lot better and I will make more videos for you. And let me know in the comments below what you wanna see next. Thank you, bye.